All right, so let's start with some uh, centering, just coming into our bodies and connecting with our breath. So sitting tall. Shoulders relaxed. And then feel the air entering your nostrils. And coming deep into your body. Expanding your ribs and your belly. One more breath and then you can open your eyes. And so we'll move the um, shoulders. So we're gonna inhale the arms up and then as you exhale, you're gonna bend the elbows and then bring them down and a little bit back behind you. And then again, forward, reach up and overhead and bend the elbows, go to the side. And back to center. And I'll reach out, bending those elbows. Great. Couple more. Very good. And then interlace your fingers. And then we're going to push through um, straightening your arms and then rounding your shoulder blades a little bit so your shoulders come forward so really push through those palms push 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 feel that stretch between the shoulder blades and then we're gonna interlace behind your back uh, you can keep your arms bent uh, just squeeze the elbows so it opens your shoulders Maybe you can, uh, if you have space behind you, you could um, extend, but don't do this. So we don't want that, right? The shoulders forward. We want the shoulders back. So you could keep the elbows bent and just really open right here. As if somebody was pulling, pulling you by your arms, keeping your shoulders back. Good, and then we'll do it one more time. So. Interlace forward and press around those shoulders. And one more time, interlace behind you, squeeze the elbows together, open your chest. Very good, nice deep breath and release. I'll just pause and feel. I already feel a lot of sensations after this. Uh, so let's uh, do some circles with the nose. So you're drawing a circle in front of you. Just gentle movement for the neck. And reverse. Very good. Good, and then let's uh, bend, lift the arm, left arm, bend it, and touch the back of the head or neck. So our goal is to point that elbow as high up as you can. Just to open the armpit and just stretch the back of the arm, the triceps. So you could even press a little bit either like this or from below, yeah. Oh, uh, so Bruce, touch the back of your neck first. 
No, just the back of your neck uh, on the same side, same side. Can you see me? Can you see me well? So uh, take your left arm and touch the back of your head. Try the head from the other side, <laughs> from your left. Other, other ear, other ear. Pull, pull the elbow up. Yeah, good. And then if you've done it for a while, switch sides. So right arm, touch the back of your head on the same side. Yeah, that's it. And then maybe try to encourage that elbow to go a little higher up. I'm always uh, imagining I'm sort of breathing with this whole area. So opening it, T taking the breath deep into those ribs. We have a lot of lymph nodes around here, right? And so, you know, doing in yoga, we do this a lot, moving the arms up and down. And so we're encouraging that lymph to, uh, to move through, move back towards the heart. And, uh, get the toxins out. So let's uh, do some more of that. <laughs> Arms and cactus, spread your fingers, open your palms. And then try to keep those upper arms parallel to the floor if you can. So hands a little bit closer to your ears, Bruce, just a little bit. So there's 90 degrees possibly here. Good, and then exhale. Close, inhale, push back, and close, inhale, open, exhale, close. Very good, just a couple more. Great, and release, relax your shoulders. And I'll look side to side slowly without moving your shoulders, just the head looking side to side. Get a little look, look to the side, Bruce. A little bit more movement in that head. That's it, nice. And then stay on one side and take a few breaths there. Feel that stretch. And then go to the other side and hold on that side. Very good. And then back to center. Nice. Okay, so I'll take that strap. Um, if you don't have a strap, don't worry. Just uh, pretend you have one. And, uh, you know, we're going to do this movement. So expanding uh, either the strap or imaginary strap, trying to straighten those arms out to the side, and then back to center. So if you don't have a strap, just really reach out to the side and back and reach out and back, reach out. Good. Do a few more. Notice uh, with some of my clients, this really works uh, well after we do that, they Tense much taller and straighter, at least for a while. So I, I really like this. Oh, to the side. Inhaling, expanding, exhaling, releasing. Let's do three more. One and two and three. Very good. And then release and feel the sensation of 
the blood flowing into your muscles when we do some strength training. Good. Maybe let's do some cat and cow now. So that rounding and arching. So your shoulders go back on the inhale, your chest lifts, heart lifts. And then on the exhale, you round, look at your belly button. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. So you're trying to create sort of waves with your spine. So it's not just the head moving. It's also your upper back and even your low back. The whole spine flexing and the whole spine extending. Not uh, and not in a forward fold. So you're you're not going down like this. It's literally so your body straight up. And it's just the spine moving in these waves. Yeah. And it might be much subtler than, than mine. Uh, and that's fine. Just bringing some, some flow. And then we'll go side to side. So imagine you're floating in the water like a seaweed. So leading with one shoulder than the other. So it's a more fluid movement. But it, it gently moves and warms up the muscles around your spine. Very good. And then add a reach. So we're reaching side to side, not down into the side, but straight out to the side as if somebody was pulling you by that arm and you'll feel the stretch here very good and then we'll go straight down into a side bend and roll up and roll down again. Exhaling into that side bend. And inhaling, rolling back up. Side to side. One more time each side. Very good. And then we'll do another uh, movement for the spine. So front and back. So we'll um, come down into a forward fold. And on the next inhale, rise up halfway up. So you'll be in that seated cobra. So your body slanted about 45 degrees. Your shoulders are back. You're arching a little bit, lifting your heart. But your shoulders are away from your ears. So you're not like this, right? Your shoulders are down. And elbows in. Try to, uh, Paul, try to bring your elbows in a little bit more. Yeah, so bring, yeah, that's it. And then come all the way up and to seat it. Very good. And then finally, we'll do some twisting. So inhale, lengthen. And then as you exhale, twist to the left. Touch the left knee with your right hand. Sit tall and stay in that twist and breathe. Look to the left. A little bit more, Bruce. Can you... Can you um, twist? Are you touching your opposite knee? Yeah, so the shoulders twist towards, towards your window. Good. And then back to center. And then we'll do the other side. Twist to the right. Shoulders go. That Nice. Yeah, that's it. Your knees stay, uh, stay put, so you're not moving your knees. 
Adjust that upper body twist. Then hold it on that right side. Very good. And then back to center. Nice. Okay, so if you have a strap, it could be a yoga strap too, but um, let's put it around the left leg. Oh, so you, you found something. So put it around your left foot. And then we're gonna bend the knee, bring the heel towards your groin and then push away and bend and straighten and bend and straighten. If you don't have anything handy, just do it without the strap. Yeah, just bending and straightening. Feel the work in your quadricep and your thigh and also in your back because uh, the tendency is to sort of slump, right? So you're still trying to sit nice and tall. The chest lifts and the low back is in and up. Good, and then keep it straight. Again, a long spine, elbows by your side. And let's stay there for a few breaths, straightening that knee. Breathing. Very good. And then let's uh, take a little break. So rest your heel down. Keep it on that same, same side. Uh, we're gonna do one more thing here. I'm gonna go to the side. So two options, either your heel is touching or if you can uh, lift it up off the floor. And then the arm, so you're holding it with your left hand, right arm reaches out. And then we'll go straight together in the middle and then open wide or keep the heel down. So if you need more support, the heel can touch the ground. Otherwise, keep it up. Open as you inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Nice big reach. See so you can it, see if you can keep your arm parallel to the floor. So shoulder height. A little higher, Bruce. Nice. Good, and then hold it here just for a few breaths. Sitting tall. And release. And uh, keep, it, keep it still on that foot. So your left leg will be out to the side. Um, and then we're gonna side bend towards that left leg. Maybe with the arm uh, up like this, or keep your sh keep your hand on your hip and just do the side bend without the arm. Yeah, Michelle, you don't have to do the arm. Oh, it's actually another achy arm, right? <laughs> All right. Otherwise, try to bring that arm towards your ear as you side bend towards that leg. Very good. One more time, and then stay here for a couple of breaths. Send the breath into those ribs. Open it up for better breathing. Very good. And then come out. Good. So now we're gonna do the whole sequence on the other side. So switch legs. Oh, hi, Laya. 
All right, so first we're bending and straightening. So uh, bending, bringing the heel closer to your sit bone and then pushing away, straightening that knee. Two and three and four and five. Work against that resistance. Six and seven and eight and nine and ten very good and then let's um, take a little break before we go out to the side and so again holding with the right hand this time and then either tapping the heel or keeping it off the floor exhale to center Inhale, reach that left arm to the left, right leg to the right. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. Couple more, reach out. Very good, and then if you can hold here, but keep the breath flowing. Don't hold your breath. Tall posture. Sitting nice and tall. Shoulders relaxed away from your ears though. So don't lift, don't hike your shoulders up like this. Good. And release. Great. Oh yeah. And then we'll do the side bends. So your right leg is still out of the side. And I'm sort of sitting at the edge of the chair. It's, I think, easier to straighten that knee. And the side bend, feet over the arm, or keep your hand on your hip. And just uh, move in and out of the pose with the breath. Exhaling down. And inhaling up. Very good, couple more. Good, and then you can um, hold here in the next one just for a few breaths. If you want, if you need more support, you could let go of the strap or hold it and still use the hand on your thigh or on your chair. Breathe, nice deep breath. And then back to center, great. Okay, so we'll let go of the strap. Um, Um, we're going to work on the pelvis. So I'll come a little closer. <coughs> Hopefully you see me. So we're going to do the pelvic tilt. So you're going to uh, come to, towards the end of your tailbone. So tucking your tail. And then you're going to rock forward towards the uh, pubic bone. And then rock towards the tailbone, towards the pubic bone. It's not moving your upper body like this right here. It's just the pelvis and it might be just a small movement. As you tuck your tailbone, feel the deep belly muscles tightening. So as you're hiding your tail, <laughs> your, your belly is hard. And as you're showing your tail, <laughs> your belly relaxes. So just try to produce that rocking motion in the pelvis. If your hamstrings are tight, this is hard. Uh, mine are very open. <laughs> but uh, uh, just try a little bit of that movement. It's good for your back. And the whole pelvis. Good. Nice, and then we'll go uh, 
side to side. So from right to bone to the left. And you can even lift that sit bone off the chair. A little rocking. That's it. And this is what you use to scoot it in and out of the chair, right? That rocking motion. You can try scooting forward. I'll show you this way. Scooting back all the way and scooting forward. Scooting back. Scooting forward. Are you get, getting some leeway there? Are you moving? <laughs> this is a very functional movement, right? When you're, let's say you're getting into a car and you need to scoot back or uh, scoot uh, out of the chair. Great. Very nice. So then if you're up for it, we'll, we'll try working on standing up from the chair. If you're having trouble doing that, I'll show you something else to do. So we're gonna come to the edge of the chair, lean forward. So you're getting the heavy head a little bit forward and then press down into your, into your legs. And maybe you can come just a little bit and that's fine or come all the way, straighten your legs, squeeze the glutes a little bit, and then slowly sitting back down again. If you're having trouble standing up, then just work on that rocking and maybe getting off the butt a little bit, like that. Head forward and push down. Lean and push down into your legs. Or all the way up. Very good. This is also a great functional movement, very useful. So if there's one exercise you should do every day, it's this one. Because it's uh, very important and keeps your legs and hips strong. Good. Nice, Alaya, even without the arm. Yeah, that's the next step. If you want to make it harder, you cross your arms. <laughs> Doing it without it, without your hands pushing into the chair. Good. Oh, watch out. Maybe, you know, if you want to practice, you could, uh, Put another chair, a sturdy chair in front of you um, and hold on uh, first, but uh, it's good. All right, so let's sit back and then let's bring the left knee in. Let's do some ankle circles. Nice, big, so really look at that foot. And think about what you're doing. So, you know, we're moving mindfully and that helps us move big. And reverse. Very good. And then since we're here, we're gonna try to um, put the ankle on top of your thigh. If that's not available, you could straighten that leg and put it a little lower, or even keep it here next to your other leg. Well, we're gonna, what our goal is to open at the hip. So your knee goes out to the side, either like this or any other of that, those other versions. And then feel that stretch, feel your spine lengthening. 
And on the exhale, see if you can sort of consciously release tension in that hip. Sort of like you're succumbing, your knees succumbing to gravity. Very good. If you don't have much sensation, you could go a little further forward into a forward fold, but most people usually have enough sensation. <laughs> Great. And then we're going to move the knee uh, with the hand. So you're just doing up and down like this. Of course, no forcing, just um, within the range of motion. Just to loosen up that hip. Very good. Nice. And then release, straighten that leg, straight forward with toes up. And we'll go a little bit further forward until you feel a stretch in the hamstring. So that left leg is straight and you're leaning forward. Um, Again, it helps if you sit at the edge of the chair. If you don't feel much, you could also use a block and put your foot up on a block. Uh, that way it's a little higher up. And then feel that stretch, breathe through it. And then come, come up, still keep that leg straight. And then we're gonna bring the arms out to the side. Uh, we're gonna hinge to the hips and bow again, but keep your arms pushing back so your shoulders can round forward. And then inhale back up. And then again, hinging in the hips, coming a little closer to your thighs with your belly. And inhale back up. Keep your chest up, shoulders back, as if I was holding you by those arms. Great. Very good. And then twist, so come up. And then you're going to keep the right hand or touch the outer left thigh with your right hand and your left arm reaches back behind you. So you're twisting towards that side where your straight leg is. Yeah, that's it. Very good, and then come out of it. Good, and then I'll do the same on the other side. So ankle on top. Or whichever version you can, you can do on this side. Sitting tall, taking a few breaths, and re consciously relaxing at that hip, the right hip. And I'm going up and down with those hands. Just finding a little bit of space in that hip joint, loosening it up. 
Very nice, good. And then straighten. So like straight forward. And then either um, maybe you already feel enough of a stretch or come into a little forward bend, forward fold. Try to keep that right leg straight. And then inhale back up. And we'll do that twist. So inhale, lengthen. And then twist, touch the outer right thigh with your left hand. And that right arm can reach back behind you if that's okay. If that feels okay. Very good. And then back to center. Okay. So let's do about 10 minutes of cardio. Now that we warmed up, I'll just put on a mute, some music. We'll do some, you can start marching now already. Just march, or march away. Getting that heart rate up. Okay, opposite arm and leg. Lift those feet off the floor. And so let's try to touch the opposite knee. Jump the knees to one side, arms go to the other. Or you could also step instead of jumping. So step one at a time. Jump them apart and jump them together. Very good. One and two and three. Let's add arms. Cross and open. Reach for the opposite shoulders. Very good. Nice. And then let's do some kicks. And that, if you can, let's add a punch with the opposite arm. So kick and punch. 
Big fast movement. Very good. Put some energy into it. <laughs> Take a break if you need it, of course. gonna reach up above your head if you can uh, if that hurts the shoulders just in front of your face but if you can let's go up and then uh, try to tap your uh, calves and then inhale up and touch your calves up and touch your calves Come into that forward bend a little lower. Can you go a little lower, Brute? Try to reach all the way down to your ankle. Very good. Unless it hurts your back, of course. Very good. One last one. Good. And then we'll uh, we'll work just the feet. We're tapping the feet, lifting the toes, tapping. Lift it as high up as you can and hold. Hold it with the toes up. Hold, hold, hold. And release. And I'll do just the heels. So heels go up and down. Good. And then let's go one at a time. So one heel up, one heel down. We'll all be planning out a room. We're gonna take real soon. We're waxing down our circle. We can't wait for June. Very good. We'll all be gone for the summer. Nice. We're on safari okay. stay. And then let's Tell go uh, again, a little bit of a core movement. Might be hard. <laughs> so we're gonna try to. Straighten and then bend. Straighten your leg, touch the heel forward, and then almost like you want to hide your feet under your chair. So straighten and bend. So your core has to get some, some movement, some practice. Very good. Keep your spine long. Good. And then back to center. And then we're going to go the run in and out. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. And you can try quickly. <laughs> Out, out, in, in. Very good. Keep breathing. Nice. And then back to center. And let's, uh, let's move the shoulders. So we're going to go one shoulder forward, one shoulder, the other shoulder. At least please tell the phone Don't be cruel To who hard is true so You'll feel uh, the spine in the middle, right? And you're rotating around the spine Please don't forget my past 
Loosening those muscles in the spine. Good. Nice. Good. And then let's, let's do that uh, power twist. Start with knees apart. And then clap your hands together. Come into that T position. Don't skip this one. And then other side. Yeah, you can take your knees with you. Take your hip with you. Really look to that side and clap your hands on that side. Very good. Nice. And on the power rock, so you're shifting weight from one sit down to the other. Leaning to that side and reaching and spread the fingertips. Send the energy through the fingertips. Very good. Let's do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really rock. Marching song. And then march and try to do a male with your arms. Keep marching. And reverse. Elbows, lift your chest. Very good. And release. Great. Okay. So let's music. Great work, everyone. You have some water, you can just take a sip. All right. So today we skipped the face yoga, so we'll do a little bit of that now. <laughs> so give me a big smile. Big smile, hold it, hold it. And we'll spray through it. And then blow some kisses. And let's do some fish. Good. And then we'll do ah. Very good. And now let's do, let's do e really wide e. Let's do inhale and then ha, 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 ha. 
And then as you, as you do the ha, feel the pull back of the belly. Ha. The belly uh, helps, helps the air get out of the, out of the lungs, right? So that's pull back. Ha. 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 Good. All right. And then let's uh, make a sour face. Good. And then let's say she sells seashells on the seashore. 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 <laughs> nice. And then Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. 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 Olivia says hi. <laughs> <laughs> and let's uh, bring our fingertips together and um, the roots of the palms together. And then as you breathe in, you're going to try to open the fingers wide as much as you can. And then as you exhale, bring them back together. Inhale and exhale. Kind of like flower opening. Oh, you want to go outside? Good. Nice. And then let's try to bend it. Fingers bend, 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 and then hide them in. And then straighten them again and hide them in. Great. Very good. Good. And then Interlace again and press forward, straightening your arms. So uh, palms towards me. Um, yeah, Helen, nice. Good. Feel that stretch in the fingers and then the arms. And then maybe you can even lift it up above and overhead. If, if it's possible, you don't have to. Great. Take a few deep breaths here. And release. Very good. All right, so let's do a little relaxation. Oh, the time went by quickly. So I'll play my drum and I'll, I'll also be naming parts of your body uh, that you're going to bring your awareness into. Um, so you'll still have a focus. Don't let your mind float away. <laughs> thinking about something else. Okay. All right, so make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes. Bring your awareness into your feet.
pelvis. Take a deep breath. Slowly start moving your toes and fingers. And just one last time, notice how your body feels, how your mind feels, without judgment, just seeing what is. And then opening up your eyes and um, we're going to close the class. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be mindful. May I have courage. And may I uh, treat myself and others with love and compassion. And then hands to your forehead as a reminder of the power of your thoughts. Hands to your lips as a reminder of the power of your words. And hands to your heart as a reminder of the power of your actions. Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Oh, my God. What? I was so stiff. <laughs> stiff. Yeah, I was really stiff when we started. OK, well, hopefully you feel a little less stiff, uh, a little less. Uh, that was some work. Tired. Yeah, well, you did great, Helen. Have you done, here is the church. Here Say it is again. the church. Here oh. is the church and here is the steeple. Open the door and see all the people. Yes, yes, I think I've heard that one before. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>
can try it next time. Yeah. I'm a retired kindergarten teacher. Oh, yeah, you were? You were a teacher? Uh -huh. oh. Kindergarten. Nice, nice. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. I'll see you Thank guys you. next time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good work. Yeah. Have a good week. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. You too. Bye-bye.